Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Recently, my group took part in a memorial service for one of our clients whose father had passed away suddenly. And they wanted to do something special where all the kids could, could do something that could be given to the family. And so we came up with this great idea of taking everybody's fingerprints and turning them into a work of art. And we call this our You Left Fingerprints on My Heart craft. And I'm going to show you how to make your very own right now. For this project, you'll need a canvas or watercolor paper, parchment paper, blue tape, scissors, ink pads in different colors, a Sharpie pen, baby wipes, and a ruler. So I'm going to be using this little canvas. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And it's a small version of the big one that I'm going to show you in the end. And the reason that I'm doing a small one is just because we can get the idea quickly and first thing you're going to do is cut a piece of parchment paper to match the exact size. Then what you're going to do is take your blue tape and you're going to lay the blue tape just like we do a duct tape sticker. You're going to lay the blue tape on top of the parchment paper. And you're going to do this in strips. And what you want to do is make sure that you are overlapping by at least a quarter to half an inch on that blue tape. That's super important. So I've got my overlap there, and then I've got one last piece here at the bottom. If it doesn't go all the way to the edge, that's okay because we're not going to cover the entire piece. Now what you're going to do is fold this in half. So that the parchment paper faces out. Now this is the size of your frame. So you don't want to, when you cut out your heart, you don't want to go all the way up to the edge. You want to leave what we call some negative space. So I'm going to cut my heart. And if you don't know how to cut a heart, I do have a tutorial on how to cut a heart. Practice that, and then you can cut your very own heart here. The templates, I couldn't do a template for you because it's going to vary according to the size of your piece of artwork. But as you can see, I'm just cutting out an up and over shape a little loop-de-doop to make a heart. Now when you open this up, you're left with a stencil. Peel off the blue tape, and here's where you want to use that ruler to find the center and mark it, which is what I did here. I just marked it with my Sharpie pen right there in the center, so that I can then line up that fold from when I folded it over right there at the center. And you should be able to lay this at the top. And then smooth it down onto the canvas. Now, the way that this works best and the way that we used it is to set this up sort of in the entryway as people arrive for the event. And this is great for, you know, just as people are arriving. We got this amazing... I love this. This is a, a one stamp pad, but it's got eight different colors. And this is just really fantastic because people can choose their colors. If you're going to do this, though, make sure that you have some baby wipes on hand because people don't want to be walking around with their finger, you know, all painted up. They want to, of course, take that paint off as quickly as possible. So what I'm going to do is just take my thumbprint, and I'm going to use this pink here. And one, one thing that's really important when you do this project is you want to make sure that you're getting the outer edges. Now, if you've got a lot of people coming to your event, you only want to use one fingerprint per person. But in, of course, here, I've only got me. So I'm just going to be doing a couple fingerprints. As you can see, I'm going around the outside, and I'm making sure that I get that edge. Now, it doesn't matter that my fingerprint goes off the edge of the um, template here. That's OK. That doesn't matter at all because you'll see when we take it away, it gives us a nice sharp edge when we, when, where that fingerprint is. So I'm going to wipe my finger off with the baby wipe, and then I'm going to use a different finger. And again, this would be different people doing this. Or if it's just your family and you want to do maybe just like four or five different people doing this, maybe give everybody one color. They could all choose a color. 
and you just continue filling up the heart with your fingerprints. So you want to keep going and filling in all those spots so that you end up with it looking like this. See all those fabulous fingerprints all around and see how I've really filled in the outer edges so that when I peel this off at the end, I've got a beautiful little heart. And that's all there is to creating your very own memory piece. Now I want to show you a bigger version, which is what we did for the event that I was talking about in the beginning. Um, and you know, what's really great is you could use this for a family reunion, and you don't have to do a heart. You could do a number one for a first birthday, or if it's, if it's a couple's anniversary, you could be doing a big five zero. It's really, you know, up to your imagination as to what you want to create. But what's great is you're getting everybody to leave their impression on the artwork, which I think is pretty cool and pretty fun. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbprint up and also subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode that we put out on Wednesday and Friday. For more fun stuff, check us out sophie-world.com. Mm -hmm.